So um, to add the bias, I'll go and highlight edge sizing and I will turn on the bias and to see what the sense of the bias is, um, let me turn on that sense and so that means that you know at the start of the edge it will use larger sizing and at the end of it it will use smaller sizing and to see the sense of the edge, the direction of the edge, I can turn on the arrow here. And let me highlight uh, geometry here and if I zoom in using the right mouse button I see the sense of that edge is over here. So which means that for this edge sizing it's going to use larger edge sizing. So I'll just go back to the previous view. It's going to use larger edge sizing here and smaller edge sizing here which is what I want here. Um, and I'll give it a bias factor. So I'll, let me say 10, which means that that's the ratio of the largest division to the smallest division, okay? So 10 is the ratio of this largest division to the smallest division. You can see that here, the sense of the arrow is the opposite. So this is not quite the bias, the bias sense I want. So what, so this really should apply only to one edge. So I'll click in the scoping um, window and I will select that and say apply. So I'm applying that only to one edge and let me duplicate that and now apply it to this edge but then I have to change the sense of the biasing because that edge has an opposite direction. Okay. And so now I see this is, I get here, I get smaller divisions there. And similarly, I need to do this for the other edge sizing. So I want smaller divisions here. So um, the sense of this edge is down, this is up. And so if I turn on the bias, let me say that one, 10, same bias factor, and so the sense of this one is right, which means that that should apply only to that edge. And I'll duplicate that and apply it edge sizing 4. I'll apply it to that edge and give it the opposite sense. Okay, so now if I hold down control, I see that the sense of the biasing is all looks right. So I can turn off the arrow and I like mesh and say update to get the updated mesh. And here I see, you know, Ansel has taken my uh, instructions and it's, it's messed with it. That's because the I've given it a soft setting which, which says that, hey, you know, take my settings as guidance. And that's what you want to do for complex geometries. For simple geometries, I want to tell answers, hey, don't mess with my settings. Just take it as it is. So I'll set this to hard. All of them. Okay. And this one too. And now if I go highlight mesh in the tree and say update, um, I do get the kind of mesh that I wanted to give me. So I'll save the project. 